What's going on, guys? It's your boy Celeb Man. And Celeb Wifey. Welcome back to our channel, guys. It's Vlogmas Day 12, and we are halfway through. Halfway <sighs> through. In this video, guys, <laughs> we're going to try and find out who does the best mince pies. Love a good one, isn't it? So come with us. All right, guys, we're in Sainsbury's right now, and we have got two ranges from Sainsbury's. So they've got their regular Sainsbury's mince pies, and then they've got their deluxe range. Taste the difference. Cool. Boom. All right, next stop, we're in Lidl's. It's right here. Boom. But should we get a 12 pack? I can let both. Ah, six pack is calm. Easy. Cool. All right, guys, next up is Iceland. Iceland. And we've got their regular range, and, the and we have their range. deluxe range as well. Yep. Let's go. All right, guys, we're in Asda, and I found the next one, which is this one here. Six gin mince pies. All right, we're good to go. And then there is another one that they've got a rum version of it as well. It's the Irish cream liqueur one. And there's an Irish what. The yeah, yeah. Alright guys, the next stop is Morrison's and I have first the Mr. Kipling's because we actually never got Mr. Kipling's believe it or not and then the second one is the Morrison's actual finest so let's see how we're going to do with these two products Let go! Alright guys, my last stop is in Tesco's and I've got the Tesco's brand so hopefully this goes nice I had to leave Haley in the car because we got Zay and he's half asleep after nursery. So let's go. I think this is going to be my last stop for the day because it's been a long time going from store to store. So here we go. All right, guys, we are home now and we have literally all the 11 mince pies that we're literally going to go through right now. It's a lot of mince pies to go through, but we're on a mission to find out who makes the best mince pies. So we've got Morrison's. We've got Lidl's, we've got Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's Taste of Difference, Tesco, Mr. Kipling, what's this one? Iceland, is it Iceland? Asda. Is that Asda? Everyone's got the same packaging, man. Asda, another Asda Deluxe, another Asda Deluxe, Iceland, Iceland Deluxe. All right, we're going to go for the first one, which is uh, Morrison's. This is a deep filled mince pie. Good. Cheers. That's quite sweet. But that's nice. Really? Mm hmm. The pastry is very like crumbly, but it's like put, very put together. The taste seems a bit raw to me. Like in the bottom. I don't like this one. I'm sitting on this. What'd you give it out of 10? A three. A three? Mm hmm. I think I'll give this one a good seven. Really? Yeah, I like that. Alright, next up, we've got Lidl's. Why did I have that Morrison's one first? That one was way. Nah, man, that was so ah. good. Mm. Nothing mm. great. Three. Nothing special. Four. I mean, I would eat this more than the Morrison for sure. No way. Yeah. No. Well, there's three more Morrison ones. They don't touch that one. Next up, we've got Sainsbury's. I don't know if I'm looking forward to this or not, boy. Let's go. It's very crumbly. Looks like it. I'm about to take that bit. Four. Well, it's just. Mm. It's just a. It's just a. It's just nothing great about it. Mm -hmm. Too much pastry. Not really buttery. It's quite tough, isn't it? Yeah, though? quite tough. Yeah. Well, I think three or four. No, for that four. one. Mm -hmm. Alright, great. Next, guys, we have the Sainsbury's Taste the Difference range. So this one here, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm hoping it's gonna do, it looks good. do some wonders. Pretty. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's, that's more strong as well, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I can smell the alcohol. Mm. 
It was a lot better, a lot more put together, mm -hmm. held together well, a bit more buttery the pastry. Yeah, I'll give this one about a five. Mm -hmm. Maybe a six. Really? Six. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. A six. Definitely the best one we've tasted so far. No. Yeah. Second best. I think I might. I'm gonna say seven. I'm gonna say seven. Then your highest score so far? Yeah. Tesco's, guys. <laughs> oh, well, that, that held together. I don't even think I want this much, you know. Like, I'm actually starting to feel sick now. Even one better. The pastry is nicer. Mm -hmm. Pastry is nicer. A little bit more buttery. Holds together quite well, but still crumbles good. I'll give it a five. Halfway there. Four, five, yeah, five. For a basic, for just an average basic range, this is really good. I would give it an eight. You think this is the best one so far? Yeah, for sure. Like, wow. I, I will sit and lap you back to back. Wow. Gosh. That's definitely an eight, bro. Me and you have different men's pie tastes. Mm. Alright, let's yeah, go. Yeah. Alright, next up, we've got my G, Mr. Kipling. Mr. Kipling. Now, this you can get basically everywhere, so this is like universal, isn't it? Yeah. You get it but anywhere. You, you, you ain't really done a taste test if you haven't got Mr. Kipling. Mm -hmm. You're doing quarters now. Let's see. I put my, my other ones in there, I think one bite. Yeah, because you got the tray, I ain't got no tray. Right. It's alright. It's too spicy. It's got a bit of a no. spice to it. When I say spice, I don't mean that hot spice, I mean that. Winter spice. Mm. It's heavy on the spices. Mm -hmm. which and is... then the pastry seems a bit quite dry to me. Yeah. Like it's it's a good like buttery pastry, but it's it's quite dry. I'm quite blind. It doesn't even have that. But it's got the buttery texture, but not the buttery flavour. Yeah. I will give that. Mr. K, you let me down, man. I'll give that. Well, I say that's good. Nah. I'll give that a four point five. I'm I'm a four, bro. I'm a four. Nah. I give that a four point five. Don't think it was that good at all. So disappointing. So disappointing. I'm slumped. <laughs> I'm slumped. Guys, I think we're going to do a part two because that is too much sweets for us in one day and yeah, I, I'm feeling super much. sick. So we've done, what have we done? Tesco's, Mr. Kipling, Morrison's, Morrison's Sainsbury's Lidl. and Lidl's. Yeah. So we've done those five guys already. There's one more that we've done. Oh, Sainsbury's tasted different as well. Oh yeah, Sainsbury's tasted different. So yeah. two from Sainsbury's. So we've done all those ones for now and we've got an average score. So the winners right now is between, between Tesco's and Sainsbury's Taste the Difference. Those two are, are drawing at the moment, but we've still got Asda to go. We've got three from Asda mm -hmm. to do, and we have two Iceland. From, yeah, two from Iceland. And two from Iceland. So, so we'll do that, and we'll probably get a few more to add to part two, so we can actually find out which one is the best mince pies. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video so far, guys. Comment down below which is your favourite mince pies. Yeah. If you got yeah, if you have a favourite mince pies, which is your favourite one? Yeah, for real. And if it's one that we didn't try in this video, we definitely are going to be trying it ourselves. Too. Okay, yeah. If it's not one in this video, comment it down below, and we'll make sure we'll get it so we can review it for our next video part two. Mm -hmm. Guys, if you haven't entered into our giveaway, please make sure to enter into our giveaway. The details are down below, and uh, we'll be announcing the winner on our Christmas Day vlog, so December twenty fifth. Also, if you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, guys, give it a like. We really, really appreciate that. And thank you for those of you who have been keeping up with our vloggers so far. We love you. Yeah, for real. Literally, some of you guys who literally comment on every single one in our videos, you like one, we all of our you. videos. We see we you see guys. You. You're on that Instagram, guys, and we can't even show how much gratitude we have. But thank you. We love you guys. 
Peace.